guys. So a few of you emailed me and I had mentioned crow pose in my last workout and you were asking me how to get into the pose and how you set up for it. So I'm going to take you through a tutorial now. It's just going to be a just a guide or so and this just gives you playroom to try it on your own, to practice and you know we all started off as a beginner. Every single yogi that you've seen go into crow pose couldn't do it when they first started. So don't get discouraged, keep practicing, going through the motions and you will get there. So coming onto your knees, place your hands. So we always start off with the foundation of any exercise, any pose. And on crow, you're balancing on these babies. So bring your hands to the ground. Spread out your fingers. That is one of the tricks that really helped me was when I really made a lot of tension with my fingers, like spider fingers. Same in a handstand. It's so much pressing into the ground with the tips of your fingers. From here, come into a forward fold. So even if you have to take your hands off the ground, that's fine. We just want your hips above the ground for a second. Separate your feet so that they're hip distance apart. Okay? And now squat down to the ground, lifting your knees up. So you feel your knees should be by your shoulders right now. If that's not where they're at, it's fine. Just try and find that happy medium where they are as high up as you can get them. Now with crow, you're really squeezing into your arms a lot. Your whole body is tense. Trust me, it may look grateful, like graceful, but everything is contracted. So once your knees are hugging into the sides of your arms, hands on the ground, lift your legs up. Now your knees can be under your armpits now, where it doesn't matter. Everyone will have a very different placement in the pose. You've just got to find where it works best for you. Now the next part is just gonna be leaning forwards. Now once you lean forwards, try to take one foot up, take the other foot up, and find breath. Now if you're just balancing on your toes or you know, bringing your nose to the ground, it's all about finding the balance and the movement in this pose. So even if you're bringing your legs up and you just wanna try lifting one leg, that's fine, try one, try the other, but the big secret is actually leaning forwards and the amount of times i have face planted or just fallen on my face in a class getting this pose it's just it's gonna happen it's well more likely gonna happen so just you've just got to do the whole trial and everything and you lean forwards because a lot of the time you progress from crow into headstand which we'll do next time. So keep practicing that and let me know how it goes.